Hey Mecha fans, welcome back to the channel. This is Gunmetal Joe and today we will be reviewing this bootleg edition of the high grade Psycho Saku. This model kit was released by Bandai way back in May 2016. Let's check out the contents. It's quite unfortunate that my seller forgot to include the water slide decals. The manual is just a direct copy of the actual original with slight modification. I really don't like the gold tone of this colored plastic. They did an awesome job in almost maintaining all the mold details. And we get this color correcting stickers which I'm not planning to use at all. I'm going to experiment using these cheap metallic markers to actually put details on this build. Let me add the panel lines using my trusted Unipin 0.1 marker. Let's add more details using this metallic silver marker for the actual leg part here. Just be careful of the actual waist armor here because this is prone to breaking. This waist part will rely heavily on this uh, colored sticker here. But instead of using the stickers, I will be painting this one using this Bosni orange. Before you apply the orange, put white on it so that you could actually make the color pop. After masking and painting using the Bosnia orange, it definitely matches the orange part on the chest like in the pictures. The spike is gold but I painted this one in orange to match the actual color scheme of the model kit. Based on the aesthetics this one is a Johnny Ridden Saku, which was modified, and the mold details is really nice. But this model kit is far from perfect. This is the first issue that you will encounter. The head is a bit loose. Actually, it's really loose. Pops out easily. And this tiny thrusters pops out easily when come into play so you might need to actually apply plastic cement for this not to actually go astray there are seam lines that are needing attention especially on the shoulder and this one easily going to break 
yeah this piping here is actually quite flimsy in the design and let's check out the articulation Skirt armor can move, but since the thruster is there, and I don't want to break the actual connection, so I won't risk it. And this kit has insane accessories. Look at those weapon set that this model kit comes with. Just be careful handling these uh, accessories because sometimes they will easily pop out. And as you notice, there are actual seam lines on this actual bazooka. And these thrusters really pops out easily. So I will be doing this later on for the actual build after painting it now the question is is it worth getting for its price point yes but this is not for anybody because this requires advanced skills in building model kits if you have comments and questions feel free to post them below please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and see you on the next video